Hello everybody, welcome to my first video in my new series FFF, which stands for France for Foreigners. I'll be explaining French news in English to inform the rest of the world of current topics in France. On the 10th of April this year, French citizens will be able to vote for the next president. It will be the 12th election under the 5th Republic and the first ever under a sanitary state of emergency. We'll look at the current front runners of the election and briefly describe their projects. On the left, Anne Hidalgo managed to secure the internal primary elections for the Socialist Party, which oversaw the 2012 winner François Hollande. The current mayor of Paris aims to solve social, climate and democratic issues. For example, she promises to increase the minimum income, or SMIC, by 15%. Another popular candidate, Yannick Jadot, from the European Ecologist Party, wishes to reconcile the earth with the living by closing 10 nuclear reactors by 2035 or building 12,000 wind turbines. The member of the European Parliament also wishes to develop a social justice programme with a funding of over a billion euros. On the right, Valérie Pécresse fended off popular candidates such as Xavier Bertrand or Eric Ciotti, becoming the first ever woman to represent the Republican Party at the presidential elections. Her goals are to encourage work, find a solution to the ecological crisis, and stop uncontrolled immigration as well as facilitate integration. She aims to attain carbon neutrality by 2050 and bump up by 10% the net salaries of people earning less than twice the SMIC. On two extremist parties, Marine Le Pen, a hard-right politician from the National Rally, will be giving herself a second chance at the elections. Her policies have remained quite similar to 2017, where she managed to reach the second round. She still wishes to regulate immigration by limiting familiar regrouping, but also to consolidate the nuclear industry and to reorganize the health system by creating 100,000 additional nursing homes. Flamboyant new independent candidate Eric Zemmour has similar views, aiming to clamp down on immigration and Europe. The ex-journalist opinions on Islam have created heated debates, as he wishes to forbid wearing hijabs and building imposing mosques. On the hard left, another recurring candidate, Jean-Luc Mélenchon, has returned with ideas to invest 100 billion euros into social and ecological projects, wishing to transition the country towards 100% renewable energies by 2050, and also to build a billion eco-friendly public housings. The leader of the rebellious France also wishes to leave the NATO organization and existing free exchange treaties. Finally, in the centre, the current president Emmanuel Macron has yet to officially announce his candidacy, although it is highly anticipated. The leader of the Republic on the move has notably led reforms in the work code, anti-terrorist laws, and more recently decided to make a vaccine pass, prohibiting non-vaccinated individuals from entering public spaces, such as bars or restaurants. He will be able to capitalise on the fact that France recently took the presidency of the European Union Council. So, who is likely to make it through to the second round? Polls are suggesting Macron will easily get through, with a tight struggle between Le Pen and Pécresse for the second place. Could we see France's first ever female president? They must however be wary of Zemmour, who has been recently climbing up in the polls. Thank you so much for watching, leave a like down below if you enjoyed, and let me know who you will be rooting for come April.